Hi, everyone. I'm Diane Brady. I'm here with my colleague, Louisa Kroll, executive editor, All Things Wealth. Hi, Louisa. We're talking Hi, about Rihanna. Well, actually, it's Rihanna. Rihanna. Every, everybody corrects me all the time when I say Rihanna, and it's only because, you know, I've edited several stories on her over the years, um, and I looked it up, and I listened to her talk about it um, one time, and, you know, she's very chill. She doesn't care if you call her Rihanna, Susan, Rihanna. Susan, exactly, Rihanna, exactly. Rihanna. Potato, potato, but it is Rihanna. Rihanna Fenty. We know her last name is well, Fenty. She, she doesn't combine it. It would be I Robin know. Fenty. That would be Robin Fenty or Rihanna. Exactly. And she is, what we do know is that she's doing the Super Bowl halftime show, which is interesting because the last album she dropped was 2016. So we're talking about, is, is, am I right? Is she the first billionaire to ever play as an artist? Definitely. She is definitely the first billionaire to ever get up on stage. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but the person that's probably most responsible for getting her back on that stage is Jay-Z, mm -hmm. who is also a billionaire, but he's behind the scenes. It's his rock nation that's, you know, putting on the Super Bowl show. And they've been doing that for a number of years now. So let's talk about where she gets her wealth from at this point, because she's got the beauty line. She's got luxury clothing, lingerie. Yep. How much of it actually comes from music? Uh, well, let's just say that we don't count any of her music, you know, in her fortune. Uh, mm. Is it still what it's one point so, I mean, four, 1. 4 billion, some. right? Well, Last we we right now estimate her around one point four billion. Um, you know, could she have a little bit more that's from the music? Uh, maybe, but the vast majority of her fortune comes from Fenty Beauty. Um, she actually started that beauty line in 2017. So right around the time that she, you know, pulled away from music for at least a while. Um, and that's a partnership with LVMH conglomerate. Um, you know, they're behind Moet and Chandon, Louis Vuitton. Um, it's basically run by the world's richest person, Bernard he, Arnault. He's been trading places with Elon Musk for he's the last... Held on uh, for, he's held on for a few weeks now. Yeah. So Bernard Arnault is right now the richest by, you know, a kind of sizable margin, though Musk is finally starting to pick back up. But we'll see with that. Um, but, you know, he uh, wooed... Um, Rihanna and got her to, you know, do this partnership. She owns 50%. Uh, the sales have been doing very well. Sales actually doubled um, in the past year. We're this not This is for the cosmetic sure. line. For the cosmetic Fenty. line. Okay. How, how is so, Fenty Beauty. So that's the, that's the largest portion of her yes. wealth. Um, what about the lingerie? Her lingerie, we figure is probably worth around 300 million. Again, it, it, it's, it's lingerie. It's done incredibly well. You know, she raised money at a billion valuation, um, but it is about a third or no, actually probably more like a fourth the value of the beauty line at this point. Um, but, but both, I mean, you know, to be her age, to have this kind of success in two different businesses when really she made her name initially in music is just really kind of unheard of. Yeah, she's one of, the, I think, last I checked, I don't know if she's the second or third, but she's certainly one of the top selling female artists of all time. I believe so. Um, I don't, I know we're, when we look at the Super Bowl halftime shows, since we're talking about wealth, I know mm -hmm. that one does not get paid nope. to do these shows, but we've heard, um, you know, a little bit of rumbling about actually paying. When you have somebody like Rihanna, um, is she likely to be putting any money into this show? I mean, there's got to be My some cross-promotional right, opportunities. Right. My guess is that she probably isn't directly, you know, we've done this every year where we've kind of looked at, you know, who the Super Bowl performer is, what they're getting from it, the fact that they're not really getting paid anything. Um, and over the years, I mean, that's included everybody from J-Lo to Lady Gaga. Um, and The weekend was the only one that, you know, kind of said to us, actually, I'm putting in several million. Um, most of the time, they're pretty tight-lipped about it. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually the, you know, big brand that's like sponsoring Pepsi it. Or so a... Pepsi did it for years. And yeah. this is going to be the first year that Apple Music is paying for it. Um, but, you know, I imagine this is going to be quite a spectacle. So um, it'll be interesting to see exactly where the money's coming from. Not that they'll ever share it with us, um, but I'm sure Apple is putting quite a lot of money in. And she certainly has the money if uh, if she wanted to or needed to. Let, let me ask you a question mm -hmm. about why you don't count 
her music as part of her. I well, mean, it's just it's so just, small; it's around an era. It, so it's, it's not that it's not that it's not that we don't or wouldn't. It's just kind of it's, too it's small so when you're talking about how big the rest is. And we should probably, I mean, again, um, you know, maybe take it into account. You know, with all of these numbers, you know, uh, we know that she owns fifty percent. We've been told that um, they do not break down what exactly the revenues are. So to be kind of conservative, we don't, we don't kind of, you know, push it up as far as we could, you know, she could be worth more like 1.5 or, you know, even 2 billion, depending on how aggressive people are about that Fenty beauty valuation and whether LVMH would ever sell it, which I don't think they would. It's interesting because it suggests to me that for we know many recording artists, Beyonce, everybody, you know, they always have an entrepreneurial component these days. Yes. And, but but how much of the, is it rare to get a lot of wealth from the music itself? I mean, obviously you can own no, you the can rights. Get a lot you, more. Can own, you can get a lot more. So and, she's and, just and, come you know, into it's it just, more. She, it's just she hasn't really produced anything in a number of years. 2016. Um, yeah, 2016. I mean, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, you know, these are all women that are on our list of self-made women. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a list that we started because we were, you know, quite frankly, getting tired of just seeing, you know, old white men on our billionaires list. And I said, why don't we start looking like, why do we create this one billion barrier? Let's start looking at just really successful women and and seeing, you know, putting a price tag on it or putting a valuation on it. Mm-hmm. And that's when we started to dig into, you know, some of these artists and there are a number of them that are on it. And, you know, they do get it from their earnings mm-hmm. um, and they get it from touring. And I expect both um, Taylor Swift and Beyonce to continue to move up those ranks. Um, but but again, I mean, nobody has had the entrepreneurial success um, that Rihanna has had to this point. And um, obviously, very much still an anticipated show. You know, very. We much don't so. need new music. We she's got a pretty deep catalog of uh, of hits we'd love to hear. So, look forward to it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.